So I'm an aspiring content creator, but the unfortunate thing is people just do not take small creators too seriously. So to prove that you can build a content agency from absolutely nothing in 2024, I have got to get a collaboration with a local business. And if I don't, I must go ahead and quit my content agency forever. So to start off this challenge, I came to a local business that sells all the hype, but it's not just any sneaker store. So first things first, the plan we're gonna go in with this first store is basically I realized on Instagram after doing some research, they haven't posted on it at all. So for this video and for this store, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can go ahead and offer my creativity skills and go ahead and better their social media presence. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see if they'll let us record in the store, y'all. Let's go. I was looking dumb. I just went through the wrong entrance. That's crazy. I low-key believe this is the entrance. Maybe not. Do you know the entrance to smoke hype by any chance? The sneaker store? The entrance? Yeah. The, this gas station? Do they sell like... I don't think so. Oh, she low-key may have been right. I ain't gonna lie. The smoking hype is right here, y'all. I'm about to show y'all. Smoking hype, you can see the sign right here. It says smoking hype. And let's go ahead and see what they got in store. This little look around, it's actually next to a gas station, which I don't know how I should feel about that. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what they got in store. I'm hoping it's not this little gas station, though. That's misleading. Hello. Excuse me? I had a quick question. Um, Where is the Smoke and Hype um, shoe spot? Is this it right here? Huh? It what? Yeah, we done it like in a year. Oh, it's that? Yeah. Really? Yes. Are you the owner? No. Oh, you're not the owner? So a little backstory on the actual Smoke and Hype. That store actually ended up being a sneaker store that actually was discontinued a year back. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and check out this new one. It's called Slappers Co. And that one is pretty recent on Instagram. So we're gonna see how they're doing as far as like their social media presence and if they want someone behind their team. So that being said, let's go ahead and hit up Slappers. Since there are a lot of small businesses in the area, it should not be that hard to get a collab or even just a lead. But with their requirements that they have been said, it's 2.5K. That is not it. In order for me to maximize my chances of hearing back from these brands, I need to go ahead and set some rules. So rule number one is gonna be first that the brand, their personal brand must be up and coming. So for the second rule of thumb, we gotta make sure we leave out of here with spending zero dollars. And for the third one, y'all stay tuned. So while I'm finding the entrance to Slappers Co, the third rule of thumb is gonna be that I cannot and I have to quit my content business if I do not head and get a collab. So without further ado, now while the stakes is high, let's go ahead and see if we can make our first deal. It's weird. Y'all think this is Lapras Co? Or am I tripping? Loki probably not. A few moments later. You're good. Hey, I had a question. Um, so was next door um by any chance ever slappers co you heard of it it's like a sneaker store yeah it was what happened to it they just stopped coming i don't know they just I, honestly really i don't know what i got told was that they just they would never open Not really uh -huh. So I do have some good news and a little bit of bad news too. Unfortunately, as you guys see from behind me, Slappers Co. is indeed here. But with that being said, they actually did go ahead and close. But anyway, the word she actually used was they actually just left and just discontinued and stopped showing up. But they do still have the Instagram page, which is kind of misleading. So unfortunately, that is kind of a bust. At this point, I was upset. But if you know me, you know I'm not known to quit. So right about when I started to think about giving up, it came to me. A few weeks ago on my channel, I recorded a video at the Cerritos Mall for some public interviews, and I remember seeing a certain business that has potential. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to Hardwoods LA and see if they're gonna actually hear me out. And since we have some ties within the sneaker industry and also that lifestyle type of fashion industry, I'm um, hopefully they're gonna hear me out. And since for this video, I do not have even a lead yet, hopefully they'll go ahead and just hear what I gotta say. But let's go ahead and see what they have in store for us. Come on. I have a question. Do you know where the hardwood LA is? Hardwood? Yeah. Does that ring a bell to you? It's going to make a left and then it'll be on your right side. So uh, it'll be on like the right, the right side of the mall. Okay. Just make a left right here. I right, see it. Thank you. 
for sure y'all heard it so as y'all can see it says the los cerritos center y'all let's go ahead and see what they got in store i don't see no hardware la i see a foot locker it's a foot locker lens craft foot locker look foot locker she had. hey excuse me i had a question bro um you going to jail oh sorry about that my bad um i'm looking for the hardware la store it's just just keep going just right okay thank you Y'all see the struggles with content creator, bro. Like, literally do not be letting you record in the stores for some reason, which is kind of understandable, but um, that's kind of what we got to work around. <laughs> that's what's up. Hey, what's your channel, though? Uh, my channel is just my name. What's your name? Jones. Jones, you got a channel? <laughs> no, she don't do okay. YouTube. I've been vlogging all day. That's hard, though. What's your channel? My channel is um, double A R O N underscore M I underscore Miyako M I for sure. Appreciate that. How long you been vlogging? Uh, I I was vlogging before, but I do sneaker content. But I'm trying to get into that more lifestyle content yeah, type of way. Yeah, I feel like lifestyle sneaker content is a good combo. That's what like, I'm trying to. Kind of yeah, exactly. A R O N underscore Miyako M I A K O. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got you. For sure. Subscribe to your channel. Bet. Thank you. Send me your IG too so I can follow you or something okay. like that. Uh, what's your Instagram? It's, it's the same, same thing. thing. Same thing. Let me see. I love seeing people. It's so rare to see people in this area. Really? Like, like, what do you vlog? Like, I'm from here. I vlog here. But what do you vlog though? Lifestyle content. Oh, just like day to day type. Yeah. Lifestyle oh, that's content. hard. So it's so crazy seeing people in this area vlog. Cause you know you see that kind of stuff a lot in LA. In Atlanta but you don't too. Really, in Atlanta, but you don't really see it in Cerritos. Yeah. And like exactly. you don't really see it like that you don't yeah i just followed you on instagram so you have my instagram i bet yeah it's nice meeting you exactly it's nice meeting y'all too yeah. you too appreciate it man simple as that that's crazy y'all see we just we just met another vlogger in the city of yeah. long beach y'all and not even the city of long beach the city of cerritos for that fact and i'm not even from here to be honest so i'm not even going to really claim it but it's just crazy to see another vlogger, just another aspiring vlogger doing the same thing I am. So let's go ahead and see what they got in Hardware LA. Cause I feel like I can really add some value to their content. So let's see. Hardware LA. I love the light in here. It's so much better than seeing it um, in pictures. Do you work here by any chance? Yeah, I do. For sure. I was wondering uh, who works on like your whole social media. You guys have like a nice collection of like stuff here. Um, our social media, we have. Uh, he's not here right now, but he's like our social media manager. Okay. Yeah, somebody else is coming work about social media. You think I can maybe get in contact with him, or, like getting a hoop, so we kind of talk about? Because I mean, I was looking at your brand a little bit, and I was wondering if I could improve it. Also, add to my portfolio, add to your consistency as well. Yeah, um, I could give you. Our IG, bro. And then you can hit up our IG and more than likely our TikTok, though, because he has more access to TikTok. Okay. Got you. And what was your name again? My name is Corey, bro. Corey, nice to meet you, Aaron. Uh, you work here too? Yeah, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's your name? Aaron. Aaron? Yeah. For real, my name's Aaron, too. <laughs> nice That's to crazy. How old are you? What's up? How old are you? 24. 24, that's hard. Yeah. How'd you oh, get into really? yeah. I'm 20. 20? Okay. Yeah. You're young, I'm young. young. <laughs> not that young. You low key look young, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, no, no, trust me. I get that shit all the time. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> but um, what like what got you into like this whole like sneaker fashion? No, like, this is about this paper no, I said, said, like, what got you into, like, the whole fashion industry? Uh, it was mostly shoes and anything, bro. Okay. The clothes actually came with it. Just okay. The shoe store. Yeah. So that's how you say how I got it. Do you think that you guys can tell people about, like, a couple, like, the exclusive sneakers or, like, just, like, when you guys drop or, like, things like that? Like, you, bro. So, what's going on? Appreciate right? that. Do you think you can tell people, like, about, like, some of the exclusive sneakers you have? Like, some sneakers people don't have or, like, just some, like, key things about hardware that people wouldn't, like, really know about? Yeah, bro. Um, so over here we got a couple stuff. Yeah, right here we have the Jordan Three T D organs. So the only players that played on the basketball team had those. Uh huh. So those are hard to come by. We had the black pair, but we sold them. So this is basically like the rat con where you guys got the exclusive. This is probably a lot more of our exclusive stuff. Like, sure. you know, like this, this is a signed Michael Jordan, uh, Jordan bread. Hard. So it's a guy that has authenticity and everything. So that has some official 
uh, the Warren signature. Right okay. Um, this again right here, the What the Ducks. This is another PE for Oregon. So all the Oregon players are able to get that. How are they selling them? Like, how are the sneakers like right here selling? So a lot of these don't sell too often just because they're a lot more exclusive. They're a lot more of a higher price point. So, you know, it's more of just to show, you know, if somebody wanted it, then, you know, we got it, we can sell it. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, they don't really sell too much. I mean, obviously, other than Travis's, because Travis's sell like crazy. Everybody likes Travis's. Yeah. Those aren't too exclusive, but those are a little bit, you know, more on the higher end. Um, so yeah, this is a lot like a more exclusive stuff. Even like these right here, these are all of the old Supreme Dunks. Uh -huh. those, uh, so those came out in like, I want to say 03, 05. Okay. And these are the Metacoms. Those came out like in 05, 08. So? So those are like older shoes that you can't oh, like, find like, like, anywhere, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Once you look at them online. Even like these shoes down here, these are from 1985. So those are hard to find. That's crazy. That's really a grill. Oh, you can really see like the, the yellowing on it too. Yeah, so those are original ones from 1985. So those are like, obviously you can't find them. Yeah. 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 So how long you been here for? Um, I've been here like a couple months after we, we opened. We opened um in and when did we open? Oh, in April, April last year, May last year. May. Yeah, May last year. So I came in I came in about a couple months after that. So I'm not OG OG, but I am. Um, so yeah, you know, we're moving we're about to be here almost two years and so obviously next year and then you know, it's been a good journey, but it's been a good ride though. It's hard. I love to hear it. Um but I really appreciate your whole story about this place because I know the people will love to hear it. Yeah. And for y'all out there, if y'all wanna shop at Harbor LA, this is definitely a good spot to get some nice authentic sneakers. As y'all can see, looking around, they have a lot of sneakers, they got a lot of clothes, they got everything you can want. So with that being said, what was your name again? Corey. Corey, nice to meet you, Corey. I appreciate you. And you have a good one. So with that being said, we didn't get a good lead, but with that being said, I did go ahead and get their information so I can go ahead and see what um, the business owner is all about. So I'm going to go ahead and check in with that and see what he is on. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get to the car and then we're going to go ahead and talk about what is going to happen next. So as y'all can see, I got some good news. I did get their social media handles, which is kind of a lead, but I could have got that out myself. But I'm going to go ahead and take that as a W. I'm not going to lie because I am going to go ahead and hit them up with some of my work to see if I can go ahead and just add value to their business. So with that being said, that is the cold approach for today. I did not, although get one solid kind of a lead, but I did go ahead and pop out and see what's the offer. Stay tuned for my next video because I'm going to create a little progression and, and a good series if you guys love this content. So show me the love, you guys. Comment down in the comment section and show me that by hitting that like button. But if you guys want to see me venture out and kind of just like mix like the fashion and like the lifestyle type of content, go ahead and click this video where I go ahead and interview people on the Adidas Sambas.